Yeah, that's what we're shaking out. We're going to get down and say, please, somebody go back. <laughs> okay, I think we are going to get started if everyone's ready. So um, today the book we're discussing is For One More Day by Mitch Album. And I know so often in our book group we're always wishing that we could get kind of the insight of the author because we'll have questions, we don't know their motivation. And so we are so lucky today because we have the author, Mitch <laughs> Album, with us. So thank you so You're much welcome. for thank joining you. us. Thank you for having me here. Because that will make it kind of fun for you to hear what we're thinking and for us to hear what what Only you, if you're nice what you were thinking. <laughs> <laughs> I don't want anybody telling me how much they hated the book. All right. <laughs> All right. Those are the ground rules. <laughs> you can leave right now. <laughs> <laughs> but I think we're just going to start just real general. Um, I just would like some people to share what you think your kind of general overall impression, what feeling did the book leave you with? Does anyone? I, th I think from, from my perspective, it was refreshing to read a, uh, a book about a mother-son relationship. Um, there are so few books that I've read that have a theme like that. And I have a great relationship with my mother. So reading this book um, just made me feel really good. And uh, there are just so few books out there like that. So. And Mitch, was that part of your motivation and you know, I I, uh, I didn't really realize until I actually got into it how few books there really are about mothers and sons. And uh, I was I was a little more motivated because I had written a couple books before this that were largely guy oriented. You know, it's Tuesdays with Maury. It's all guy and guy, and then five people you meet in heaven is basically about a guy, and he meets mostly guys. And I thought oh, it would be nice to do something with a female protagonist. And and uh, I also have a good relationship with my mom and. And, uh, you know, she's one of those people that says, uh, when are you going to write something about it? <laughs> <laughs> yeah. So uh, the combination of But, yeah, you're right. I, as I got into it, I realized there aren't, you know, I think the father-son relationships, yes. lots of books yes. like that. Yeah. Mother-daughter, right. dysfunctional, difficult, mm -hmm. clashing, there lots. Are lots of those. But not a lot about mother and son. Mm -hmm. So I'm glad that uh, this adds to that because yeah. it's an interesting relationship. Absolutely. Yeah. Do you really want to know everything that, like, was... Uh, you know, we in terms of the mom's about, life. Yeah, like the mom-son relationship, right? I mean, there's it's kind of on a pedestal, right? <laughs> the whole thing. And then you kind of, do you want to really know yeah. everything yeah. that happens behind the scenes with your mom? Or, yeah. It's interesting how the story unfolded where he kept finding more about his mom, right. right? He kept finding more about his mom, more about his mom, more about his mom. Right. And it's interesting because no matter how old you get, you still have that child in you. <laughs> yes. Yeah. Why can you not leave those fears right. behind right. when you, and you made that yeah. point really yeah. well. I mean, Chick had that going on. His You're whole always life. your yeah. mother's child. Yeah. Absolutely. Yeah. And your mother is always your mother. Yeah. Yeah. And in this case, even after she's died, she's mm -hmm. still your mother. Right. Yeah. Yeah. And she can, and, and I mean, that's a really good question. Do you really want to know? Because, I mean, the basic premise of the book is, is, is you know, a guy had, a, had an interesting relationship with his mother. He was sort of chasing his father his whole Absolutely. life because mm -hmm. they were divorced. And that's a big sub-theme of the book, the effects of divorce on, on children. Mm -hmm. But he chases after his father's love most of his life and then he loses his mother very unexpectedly and that kind of uh, subliminally throws, throws him into a down spiral. And I meet so many people who lose their parents quickly. You know, when you're, you're the guy who wrote Tuesdays with Maury, you pretty much hear everybody's sad mm -hmm. story mm -hmm. and who they lost. Mm -hmm. But one of the things that I also hear a lot about is, boy, if I only had another day yeah. with my mother or my father. And I hear it, interestingly, more about parents than anything else. People who lose children, it's tragic. It's, it's beyond belief. And the sadness is so overwhelming that, that I mean, one day wouldn't be enough. Mm -hmm. And people who lose brothers and sisters or friends, you know, sort of accept that as the role, things that happen in life. But people who lose their parents, it always seems that there was something they didn't say, something they didn't ask, some fight they didn't get over, some forgiveness that they didn't ask for, that if they only had this one more shot. And so that was sort of the idea when you asked me, well, where did you come with it? I said, well, what if you actually had that one day while you were still not going to heaven and meeting people like the five people you meet in heaven, but while you were here on earth and suddenly they were back in your life? I've had dreams like that of people that I've lost that I just wake up and they're there and we're eating breakfast. And, and I say to them in my dream, but you died. And, and they never answer. They just kind of just keep going. And uh, that's what she sort of does in this. Mm -hmm. And even when Chick yeah. says, but you're dead. And, right. ah, you make too much of things, you know. <laughs> hey, yeah, yeah, so death. Uh, yeah. <laughs> and uh, what would actually happen during the course of that day? And that's, that's what I pose as a question in the book. 